So the DJI Mic 1 was released about a year and a half ago. And I definitely think it was one of the game changing mics because of the fact it was so simple to use. You could record straight to the actual transmitter and the UI on the receiver was really easy to control. You're now listening to the DJI Mic 2. Now this mic was released with the Pocket 3 if you were to pick up the Creator Combo. And for those that wanted to buy the mic separately, pretty frustrating because it wasn't released. The only way you would be able to get a DJI Mic 2 is by buying that Creator Combo. But now DJI is releasing this thing separately and you are hearing the DJI Mic 2. Now, how does it compare to some of the competitors in the space, especially what you're hearing now, which is the Rode Wireless Pro Mic? But of course, it comes down to quality, comes down to user experience, it comes down to a lot of factors and really depends on how you plan on using your microphone. Now this is the audio coming straight from my Sony camera with no microphone attached. And this is the main reason why you're gonna to want to pick up an external mic. You wanna be away from your camera but still get really good audio. How does this audio sound? This is the DJI Mic 2 that you are currently hearing right now. Now with the release of the DJI Mic 2, they are gonna have a few different combos and I'm sure this will be <laughs> extremely good news for those that purchase the DJI Pocket 3 by itself and not with the creator combo because now you can purchase the DJI Mic 2 separately. So if you wanted to have external audio hooked up to your DJI Pocket 3, you're able to do that now because they are gonna be releasing this microphone as a standalone. Now the Mic 2 is also gonna be coming with a new receiver and a new case, something that we haven't seen with the Pocket 3 because you were only able to get the DJI Mic 2. So let's go through that right now. So I know a lot of people are gonna be excited that you can now purchase the DJI Mic 2 separately. You don't have to get the Creator Combo with the Pocket 3. You do have the option now to buy the full setup of the Mic 2. We have an all new receiver, which we'll talk about. And of course, this set right here, very similar to the version one, comes with two transmitters. Also in this case, just like we had on the version ones, we do have a USB-C port as well as a lightning port. So if you want to hook this up to your mobile phone, mobile devices, you are able to do that via this receiver here. Or another option we'll talk about is you are able to connect these via Bluetooth. I'll talk about the different package and options that they have available towards the end of the video. And you're gonna to wanna to stick around too because DJI is also releasing this one, a kind of a frost white or a matte white DJI Mic 2. Perfect for those that are looking at hooking up this mic system to people wearing light colored clothing. The case, all new case. The first one here on the Mic 1 just pops open like this. We now have a, a little bit larger of a case because the DJI Mic 2s are just a little bit bulkier than the version 1s. But this new case does have a lock here at the very front. So in case it's in your bag, it's not gonna pop open. Press this up front, open it up, and there it is. The one change on the receiver that I really like compared to the version one is that cold shoe mount on the very bottom is fixed. It's not a removable one like we had here on the version one. Now the next change on the receiver that I really like is that they added a scroll as well as a button here to change your menus. Makes it a little bit easier. Really good option for those that have big fingers. Makes it a little bit easier where here the screen's kind of small so you really have to precisely tap in a certain area. Now you can just use the scroll wheel. On the side of the receivers we do have the standard out, the 3.5 out which would go to your camera. Also if you want to monitor your audio you can with the headphone jack. On the back we have the connectors where you can hook up your lightning or USB-C. On this one we also have a USB-C port here. They moved it over from the side here and then on the other side we just have the power button. Now when it comes down to the transmitters we do have a new design compared to the mic one we have this transparent little cover here on the front. On the very top we have some updated microphones. We have a microphone that actually goes all the way across versus here it is in one side of the top of the mic and we have the 3.5 jack here so if you wanted to hook up a lavalier mic to it you are able to still do that. On the side we have a linking and a power button here on the mic too and on the other side we have the record USB-C as well as the light indicator on the other side. Now when it comes to other wireless systems on the market that are very comparable I of course would put them up against this one right here which is the Rode Wireless Pro system. For the next test between these two let's 
let's take these out to the beach. And there's also a new feature on the DJI Mic 2. We have AI noise canceling, so let me show you how that one did. All right, so here's where I'm starting. I'm gonna start right over here. I'm gonna work my way all the way down there. I'm gonna be using both the Rode Wireless Pro on this one, which is right here, and the DJI Mic 2 right over here. And the thing with both of these cameras or both of these microphones is I do have them recording at the same time, but recording on separate cameras. So you are gonna get the exact same type of audio because of the fact that I'm recording at the same time, but I am recording on two separate, but I am gonna be recording on two separate cameras, two separate mics. And I normally don't do this. I normally will set one camera up and then uh, do the second camera, but I do have two DJI pockets. external receiver on both of them, even though the DJI mic can accept the, uh, even though the DJI pocket has a built-in receiver for the mic too, I am using the external receiver right now. So it is plugged in via the USB-C port. But I wanted to come out here because of this. We are here at the beach and there is a lot of people walking around. Of course, you have a lot of the beach noise. How does the audio sound? I do have the dead cats. I have the wind muffs on both these microphones. And the one new thing that DJI does offer on their mics now is we do have noise canceling. I am way over here. Can you see me? Yay! I am pretty far away. So how is the audio transmitting back to the DJI Pocket. So with that said, I am gonna switch over to the noise canceling on the DJI mic. So here we go in three, two, and... Okay, we have noise canceling on now. Testing, one, two, three, four, five. I am in the same place. How does the audio sound? We have the beach, the waves, everything crashing over here on the side. How does the audio sound? coming from the DJI Mic 2 with noise canceling on. Hopefully the wave noise, all those things will be a lot less. All right, so I'm wearing two lavalier mics. The first one is from the Rode Wireless Pro. You can hear that one right there. And then we also have the new DJI 2 right over here. Now, how does the audio sound coming from these two microphones? Bunch of seagulls fighting over some food right over there, which is pretty cool. But how does the audio sound coming from the lavalier mics? One thing that is nice is that the lavalier mic on the Wireless Pro does have the ability to screw it in. So I do like the screw in lock system because if you want to throw this into your client's pocket or ja uh, jacket pocket, you know it won't pop out. Now the DJI one does not have that option but they have a new lavalier mic that is a 90 degree and there's a little locking system behind the clip. It's not as good as the screw on one, but it definitely does the trick and they added that on there on the DJI mic too. But we're talking about audio, so how does the audio sound coming out of these two microphones? Now this is the audio coming from the Rode Wireless Pro. Testing one, two, three, four, five. Testing one, two, three, four, five. How does the audio sound? I do have my windows cracked so that it brings in a little bit more noise. Switching over to the DJI Mic 2. Testing one, two, three, four, five. This is with the noise reduction off. Now if I press the button here, now noise reduction is on. So how much difference do you hear? Testing one, two, three, four, five. Testing one, two, three, four, five. This is a DJI Mic 2 with noise reduction turned on. Now that noise canceling feature is a new feature on the DJI Mic. That is something that the Rode Wireless Pro does not offer. Now the one thing that's great about both of these microphones, the Wireless Pro as well as the Mic 2, is that they both have 32-bit recording on the transmitters, which means it's able to capture a lot more data on the lows and the highs. So if you do have a subject that is speaking really, really soft, you'll still be able to pick that up and bump it up in post-processing. Or if someone is talking really, really loud, you are able to bring it down without having the audio spike. Both these transmitters are standalone recorders, so you technically don't need anything like a receiver on your camera to hook it up to. You can actually use these as standalone recorders. So you just hook this up to your talent, 
hit record, and now you're able to record directly to the transmitters and also in 32-bit flow. Now, when using both of these systems, as far as the receivers go in the field, I do like the DJI receiver a lot better than the Rode one because you do have the ability to change all of your settings directly on this touch screen here on the very front. While here on the Rode Wireless Pro, you are able to change some of those settings. However, it's not a touch screen and you have to use a combination of buttons to kind of go through the menus and go through selection process. The one thing I do like about DJI and their interface is that it's very similar across all of their devices. Whether you're dealing with the Action 4, the Pocket, their menus are very similar. Now when it comes to battery life on the transmitters, the Rode actually edges out the DJI. Seven hours of battery life here on the transmitter, on the Rode, and then you have six hours rated here on the Mic 2. And once you charge it back up, you are now able to get about 18 hours with the case. And that's a really nice option if you wanted to hook this up to, for instance, you wanna hook this up to your phone, all you do is plug in the USB-C port here because I have the iPhone 15. Plug it in at the bottom there, and now you are able to record directly to your phone, whether it's your iOS or Android device. Now with that USB-C adapter, it's hooked up right now to my iPhone 15. This is what you're seeing and hearing from the DJI Mic 2. But I really like the fact that you can just plug and play the receiver with that adapter. So whether you have a USB-C or you have a lightning cable, change out that adapter from the back and then hook it up here, and of course, you can still use this as a standalone recorder. You can have this microphone uh, recording as a standalone. So if there's any issues with your audio, you know it's always gonna be backed up. And they also have an adapter for the lightning, and that's one thing that the Wireless Pro does not offer. You are able to hook this up to your mobile phone or your other devices. However, you just have to go out with a USB-C port to your device. And also if you have the Pocket 3 like we talked about earlier, it has the receiver built into it, which means you can now directly connect to the receiver that's inside of the Pocket 3. You can hook up Bluetooth with the Osmo Action 4 to the DJI Mic 2 and it works really, really well. Now another cool feature of the DJI Mic 2 is that you're able to hook up this mic to other devices. So if you want to use your mic on your mobile phone or here, I'm actually shooting on the DJI Action 4 hooked up via Bluetooth. So if you don't want to hook up the entire receiver, yes, you will get better you know, reception or better transmission if you hooked up the receiver, but this still works with Bluetooth technology, especially good for content creators, solo content creators that are just gonna be in fairly close proximity to your camera, just like this. How does the audio sound? This is a DJI Mic 2 hooked up to my DJI Action 4 camera via Bluetooth. Now when it comes to size and weight of these two transmitters, if I drop that DJI Mic 2 comes in at 28 grams and here the Rode Wireless Pro transmitter comes in at 38 grams. Now DJI doesn't have a lock system here at the very top, but they just released this right here, the all new DJI Lavalier, which does come with a 90 degree 3.5. That way you're able to pop in right here at the very top and there's also a clip holder on the back. So once you wrap it around, there's a little tiny slot here on the very back of the microphone of the clamp that holds that cord in place. So you can now feel a little bit more confident of tossing this into someone's pocket, knowing that it's not gonna necessarily be easily pulled. I really like their new mic system too in comparison to some of the more traditional ones because it does have this little swivel actually clicks, which means if I hook it up to my shirt and I wanted to turn it a little bit, it actually does click. And of course, both these transmitters do come with magnets here on the very back. That way, if you want to just quickly get some audio, pop this on there. Same goes for the Rode. They have a magnet system here on the back. But like I mentioned earlier, just a little bit bigger, a little bit heavier of a transmitter compared to the DJI one, but the magnet concept is still the same. DJI is coming out with this one right here, which is super cool. It is a white version of the DJI Mic 2. Kind of blends in a little bit better. So if you do have a subject that's wearing a white outfit, pop this on there, that way you don't see it so much like you would this black one. Now when it comes down to price, this package right here with the case, you're gonna get the receiver, two transmitters. 
This comes out to $349. Now in comparison to the Rode setup, now with the Rode one, this comes out to $399. You get the Rode setup here, you get two transmitters, one receiver. Now if you just wanna keep things nice and simple and you just wanted to have the receiver as well as one transmitter, this comes out to $219 for this setup right here and of course a couple of the accessories that come along with it. And for those that have the Pocket 3 and have been waiting to get a microphone, you can now purchase them separately. We have this one here, which is called the Shadow Black version, $99, as well as this one, the Pearl White version, also $99. And if you're looking at picking up this Lavalier mic, the DJI one, coming out to $39, which I think is a really good deal for what you get. And for those that want to buy the case or just have the case separately, 69 bucks for the case. I'm gonna have a lot more videos going into more details, a lot more specs, a lot more tutorials on the Mic 2, as well as other side-by-side -side comparisons with some of the other mics on the market. So if you guys do wanna see those, make sure you guys are subscribed to the channel. And of course, if you guys got some value from this video, make sure you guys give me a thumbs up and also don't forget to subscribe, hit that bell to be notified when I post new videos. This is Ultra Sasio with flightpath.com. I'll see you guys out there with possibly the all new DJI Mic 2. Take care.